Hey everyone, Nazara Keel from Max Pro Fitness uh, with you again. And uh, in this video, um, we're very excited, of course, uh, to announce to you that uh, shipping is uh, underway, um, at least to our warehouses, and then from our warehouses, we'll be um, heading out to you. Finally, um, very much appreciative of your patience, your support throughout all of this time as a small company, young company putting out a new product. Um, again, during this COVID-19 uh, period, it's been quite challenging, but you guys have been amazing and I wanted to thank you again. So, in this video, um, I first would like to introduce you to a team member of ours that you haven't uh, seen before. Uh, this is Mike. How you doing? And hey, Mike, what do you do? All Mike. the accounting. Yeah, Mike, Mike is our finance guy, bean counter, all that type of stuff, but he's also super into fitness. Um, which we like at Max Pro, and um, Mike is going to help me demonstrate a few things um, that we need to share with you. Uh, once you receive your Max Pro, there's some important things that you need to know about using it. So you have a, an instruction manual that comes in the welcome packet that we saw in a previous video. Inside of it is this uh, yellow um, piece of paper um, that basically guides you um, into um, a few points, so there's actually four points on here, but there's another one that we wanna talk about. So today's video, we just wanna to talk to you um, about some of the unique attributes of, of working out um, and using your Max Pro. So uh, first of all, um, it's a very important point, um, is that we'd like to share with you that this uh, system as we have it, um, you know, we have our power clutch, uh, and I'm gonna bring it up kinda of close here. So we have our power clutch system that obviously you know uh, changes resistance and there's the indicator and you turn it here. In our power clutch, um, we have a multi-plate system um, that actually has friction pads uh, that are basically the resistance is, is from these friction pads. Now this is automotive grade materials that we use uh, for these friction pads. Very similar to automotive transmission in a sense, but they're miniaturized for the Max Pro. And because of these, the nature of these pads, they have a break-in period or a wear-in period. So that wear-in period is extremely important for you to know. Um, it's kind of like buying new leather shoes and putting them on, they're kind of a little bit you know, hard, but then they get, they're gonna start um, loosening up and, and that's the case with this. So right now, if, if you would take this straight out of the box and start using it, um, actually at the low and mid-range resistance, you don't feel any, uh, you feel the smoothness actually, you, you feel just fine. You start getting higher in the resistance levels and you start, um, maybe Mike can demonstrate a little bit. Mike is uh, using it here and uh, just going to do, you know, maybe, what are you at? I'm at 17. 17 is over, uh, it's about 60 pounds um, per side actually. So you can uh, notice, because this is a brand new one that's just out of the box that he's, as he's going up, there's a little bit of imbalance sometimes when he's coming up from this motion, but that, I don't want you to be alarmed, that actually smoothens out um, over time. And um, so, yeah, you were asking um, how long it takes roughly and or what we should share. So it, if you worked out for two to three days a week, um, it would probably take about a month um, for it to, to smoothen out. So they just wanted to make that um, clear um, early on. The uh, second item um, that we have on this sheet is basically the resistance dial itself. So the resistance here is all um, preset um, in terms of resistance over the left and right side. However, if you notice any difference in resistance, so if I'm at a level um, 10 here, for example, and you notice that the other side is slightly heavier or slightly lighter, um, you would just feel out on the other side or this side, you know, kind of where you think it's about the same. And all it is is just this little screw right here that unscrews and this cap just pops off. You would just adjust it to the same resistance level as the other side and then screw that back in and then it balances all out. This shouldn't be a problem again because these are already factory uh, preset, um, but we want to make note of it um, just so that if, if you do notice any differences, um, that's an easy way to, to quickly adjust um, the size. Or simply, you know, if you're on a 10 here and it's 10 and a half there, eventually you're gonna know your Max Pro so well, 
um, that it's individual and personalized anyways, and you know you can adjust as you as you see fit. The um, third item um, that we have on here is um, is basically about standing and using the Max Pro, which I'm going to uh, let Mike uh, do more of the explanation on this one. So as we talked about in previous videos, it's important when you use your Max Pro to distribute your weight correctly onto the unit. Uh, not just to keep it stable, but also for your own safety. Um, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that your heels are on the foot pad and not your forefoot. <clears throat> uh, doing that will keep the weight distributed evenly over your hips and your knees, but it'll also uh, keep the Max Pro um, uh, weighted down to the ground, which is very important. <clears throat> now, Besides that, we also want to stress that as you increase the weight or the resistance that you're using on the Max Pro, you want to make sure that your stance is wide enough. So if, for instance, I narrow my stance and I'm trying to do a good deal of weight, let's dial it into about uh, 15 on either side, which is about 50 pounds on either side, and I start pulling up, you'll notice that the sides start pulling up as well. To fix that, again, if we move our feet out and we have them securely fastened to either side, that changes the feel and it also keeps the unit down on the ground, which makes it stable and safe for us. So the uh, next thing we want to talk about is um, basically uh, Many of you or some of you are used to um, using traditional weights, heavy weights, and so on. And obviously with the Max Pro, we have uh, concentric bias resistance. So it's, a con it's resistance, heavy resistance, or whatever resistance on the weight contraction, the concentric motion, um, but not so on the eccentric or the negative or the return motion. So I want to talk, uh, I want to allow Mike here to explain to you basically um, the nuances of lifting with Max Pro and how to maximize um, your muscle and strength gains um, while using uh, Max Pro. Oh, thank you. So, so, if our goal is to put on muscle size, otherwise known as hypertrophy, we need to accomplish two things. We need to have a high degree of intensity and effort, and we also need to be going slow enough, but not intentionally. So, if you can imagine yourself doing bicep curls, right? and get into those last few reps where you're struggling, that's where you're creating a lot of mechanical tension, and that mechanical tension sends a signal that you want to grow more muscle. That's a very oversimplification, but translating that onto the Max Pro is very important. So again, if we're gonna do bicep curls, what I wanna point out is that there's no eccentric part of this movement on the Max Pro. So you're going up and you're coming down with zero resistance, but the principle of mechanical tension is still the same, where when you get to those last few reps and you're really giving everything you got and the weight's slowly coming, that is when you're sending a signal to grow your muscles. Um, and that can be done anywhere between five and 30 repetitions so long as your effort is very high. So I wanna thank Mike, uh, it's great to have someone else in front of the camera um, to kind of demonstrate some. Again, uh, this video, we just summarize a few things that are on the what you need to know before using your Max Pro. Once you get your Max Pro, um, we talk a bit about the clutch pads and the wearing period, uh, the break-in period, if you will. Um, we talk a bit about the if there's any variation, although the factory levels have preset resistance on both sides, if there's any variation, it's a slight adjustment um, from your side. Um, we also talked about how to stand properly on the Max Pro, spreading the legs out. And, and firm and having half the foot out in front of the Max Pro. And then we talk a little bit about the motion um, and the difference of the motion um, when you're working out and actually um, how to build muscle or how to build for power, work out for power um, or you know, um, toning and, and cardio uh, types of, of different workouts. So thank you again. Um, uh, hopefully this was helpful for you. And uh, Mike, thank you. And uh, you'll see more of Mike, obviously, going forward. And, um, uh, you know, uh, pretty very, uh, very soon here you begin your Max Pro. And we are just as excited um, for you. Um, and we can't wait to get your feedback uh, when you start using uh, Max Pro. And, 
and um, you know, posting your reviews and videos. Um, we're really looking forward to it, good or bad. I'm sure we can always uh, learn and get better. So uh, thank you again.